They call it door to balloon, the critical time from when a heart attack patient arrives at the door of the emergency room to the time cath doctors are able to open a closed artery. The American Heart Association is pushing hospitals to get you from door to balloon in an hour and a half. At Ellis in Schenectady, an aggressive cardiac care team has beaten that time on average by more than half an hour. Liz Bishop has that. When you're having a heart attack, every second counts. So imagine how much better your chances of survival are if your cardiac team gets a heads up and is waiting in the ER when you arrive. Got a STEMI alert for a 21 year old male. In this demonstration, Captain Art Bro and paramedic Nick Persons of the Niskuna Fire District 1 show us exactly how Ellis was able to beat the standard set by the American Heart Association by an average of 34 minutes. Previously, we would pick up the patient, and it was almost like a scoop and haul type of thing. Now, we kind of reprioritized everything so that we weren't just, it wasn't a fast ride. We're giving the appropriate treatment, and we're ramping up the hospital in time uh, so when we get there, they're ready. Cardiologist Dr. Robert Joy and the Ellis team started the ball rolling a year ago when they discovered some patients got life-saving attention more quickly than others. So how do you describe it? Crushing? Crushing pain. Just, does it travel any place? It became evident to me that patients that had, that were brought in by ambulance and had EKGs done to make an early diagnosis of an acute heart attack had shorter time, there was a short amount of time to get their artery open in the cath lab. The Ellis team worked with first responders to do an EKG earlier and notify the hospital earlier whenever initial signs pointed to a heart attack. Paramedics are really our frontline soldiers in the battle against heart attack. Their job is more than just urgent transport to a definitive care facility. Realizing they're actually part of the treatment team, if they can make that diagnosis early in the field with an EKG, and make a phone call to the emergency room to start the process rolling. Ron Missouri was fighting off what he thought was heartburn late one night at his home in Rotterdam. The next thing you know, his wife was calling 911. And the EMT came, and he was in minutes he came. And uh, right away he noticed that I had uh, the symptoms of a heart attack. Uh, gave me four, um, four baby aspirin, oxygen, and a nitro, and did an EKG. And then he made some phone calls. Here's the timeline. Ron's wife calls 911 at 4.05 in the morning. Paramedics are there five minutes later giving him a field EKG. 48 minutes after that, they wheel him into the emergency room where the ER team is waiting. And nine minutes later, the cath lab team, who were home in bed less than an hour earlier, are assembled in the ER. Well, what were you thinking when you got to the hospital and everybody's waiting for you? That was amazing. That was, uh, it, it was just like, um, just like at the Indianapolis 500, you know, when they come in there and the pit crew was there and, uh, and, and everybody's ready and everybody's got a little job to do. It's hard to know how many lives have been or will be saved, but any process that speeds up the time to getting the blood flowing to the heart is a plus. More people live to leave the hospital and we have less heart failure and less risk of cardiac arrest if we can reperfuse the heart faster. And that's what you're doing? And that's what we're doing. Liz Bishop, CBS 6 News.